Those were the water heaters. Uh, here are the uh, electric storage water heaters. Uh, General Electric 40 gallon water heaters, 4,500 watt heating elements. We had, uh, we had uh, 10 natural gas storage water heaters. We used five uh, appliances on the soft water side and five appliances on the hard water side, uh, tending to get 95% uh, confidence in the results. Uh, the, uh, the gas water heaters are also 40 gallon capacity and 38,000 BTU, BTU per hour burners in them. And then we had uh, also 10 instantaneous water heaters, five on hard water, five on soft water. Again, General, General Electric helped us with these, getting us these models. And uh, there were 199,000 BTU per hour burners with a deliming valve set. We find that deliming valve set to be very important in this study, especially on the hard water side. Uh, we got one of our members to donate us the uh, the water softener, so here's the uh, du twin tank water softener and brine tank that, that the, uh, this company uh, provided for, the, for this study at Battelle. Uh, for the, for the, uh, some of the uh, summary of the results for the uh, gas storage tank water heaters, they f we found that the, uh, uh, with softened water, these gas water heaters operated well for, the, for over the 15 year lifetime that the, uh, that the study simulated. With hard water, however, we used as much as 20% more energy. We had 20%, 24% loss in energy. The key thing I like to say that came out of the study was that the energy loss starts right away. At, at, for each five grains per gallon of water hardness, there's about a 4% loss in efficiency and a 4% increase in cost for the gas storage tank water heaters. And then if you assume that, that there's 50 gallons of hot water a day used over 50 year life cycle, that could be up to 24% or a 30 grain water, or 30 grain water up to 20, 24% loss in efficiency. For the tankless heaters, that was even probably more dramatic there, especially the cost because of the deliming uh, that had to go into them. But with softened water, the uh, tankless water heaters operated uh, uh, well over the full lifetime of the study. 15 year lifetime of the, of the unit. Uh, on hard water though, the tankless heaters operating on hard water failed after 19 days of testing um, and we then had to delime. They, uh, they, they failed because of uh, plugging of, of the uh, downstream plumbing primarily with scale. And for the tankless water heaters, softened water saves about 40% of the cost compared on operating to uh, on 20 grain water compared to operating on 20 grain water and up to 57% of the cost if you had like 30 grain, very, very hard water, but, but very significant cost savings by softening the water. Shower heads and fixtures, uh, of course, the, you, on soft water you maintain, they look better. Uh, with hard water, the, the flow was uh, uh, attenuated, and on faucets, the same thing. We couldn't maintain the 1.25 gallon per minute flow that we intended with the, with the softers. Carbon footprint. 18% uh, increase in carbon footprint on the gas storage tank water heaters on hard water, 4% for the tankless water heaters for carbon footprint. And then we have, we have various photos, but uh, here's a uh, the, the shower heads on soft water. You can see the orifices are, are still all open. Hard water, they tended to plug. Here's only a few of the orifices open on hard water, showers on hard water. There's the test stands that they use for the shower heads, another picture of examples of the shower heads. Quite dramatic differences that you could see in the in the in the operation of of uh, shower heads and faucets on hard versus soft water. We looked at five low flow faucets. Uh, they were installed on hot water from the instantaneous water heaters, and then we have photos that compare them to uh, the low the uh, the uh, low flow faucets and softened waters were relatively clean throughout, and on hard water, they plugged up. There's softened water aerators, hard water aerators in this study. So as I said, the tankless water heaters failed to operate on hard water. Uh, the study started about a year ago, I guess actually April of 2009, and by July, we noticed that the instantaneous heaters could no longer maintain the 1.25 gallon per minute. On July 8th, we called a service technician in, he delimed, and although the rate was improved, 
the minimum flow rate was still not achievable. We never got back to that 1.25 gallon per minute. Uh, the instantaneous heaters on soft water, though, continued fine all the way through the study. Uh, and then in early August, the piping systems on the gas and the electric water heaters also became plugged, and so we had even trouble with the tank water heaters maintaining the, the flow rate by August of, of uh, the study time. However, on soft water, we didn't have that problem. Again, some of the, when you, when you download the report, uh, these are some of the tables you will find. Uh, probably the, the first one is this ES1 summary table showing the, uh, the efficiencies for the instantaneous gas storage, electric storage at the, be at the beginning of the test, and then how it dropped on unsoftened water. The softened water maintained the efficiencies, uh, and uh, the hard water it didn't. Now, with the electric water heaters, we did not see a drop in efficiency during the time of this test because uh, we, we, uh, we, uh, the researchers assumed because those elements, those heating elements are up off the bottom of the tank, the scale sloughed off. I think the heating elements, electric water heaters have, have ingeniously been devised of, of a material nowadays that scale doesn't stick to very well. So the scale sloughs off to the bottom of the tank. However, we did accumulate a lot more scale in the, in the in the tanks of the electric heaters than we did in the gas heaters. About twice as much scale accumulated on the hard water side and electric heaters than they did in the gas heaters. And it's thought that, if, that eventually uh, that, uh, that because of that increased uh, uh, energy taking scale out of the water that the heating elements are going to wear out quicker. They didn't wear out in the time we did of this study, but they're going to wear out quicker uh, with hard water than they would with softened water. But the energy efficiencies didn't drop off with the electric heaters like they did with the, with the gas on both the storage tank and the instantaneous heaters. And as I said, the carbon footprint's about 4% about, uh, carbon footprint savings with, with softened water on uh, tankless heaters and about 18% uh, savings on the uh, carbon footprint on the gas tank storage heaters. Cost savings over the life, uh, here's, this ch chart shows uh, increments of water hardness from 0, 5, 10, 15, up to 30 grains per gallon. Uh, the uh, instantaneous water heaters, the uh, energy cost savings was about, about 5% throughout the study because they continually got delimed uh, and were restored. But the cost there increased quite a bit. Uh, you know, 20, 20 grain water, almost 40% increase in cost operating an instantaneous heater over a, uh, over a, uh, uh, on a hard water versus over soft water. And, uh, and, uh, and for gas storage tank water heaters, here we see the energy savings increasing also with uh, water hardness. But right away at five grains, you increase, you increase energy about 3%. I mean, you get up to uh, 20 grains, you're about 14.5% increase in energy. This is a chart showing the instantaneous water heaters and how they drop off in energy and then you delime. And then they drop off in energy and then you delime. And after, here in this period, after 15 years, you've delimed, what, about uh, a dozen times maybe. 